So it's really important to have the proper spine alignment when you're in the diamond. So go ahead and face the chair. Feet are in first position. Rise high onto your toes. Bring your heels together. Bend those knees. Now remember the chair is here for balance. You might find yourself leaning forward and if you do, that will give you an arch back. And what you wanna do is you wanna come to neutral spine. Now some of you might accidentally bring your hips under to a tuck position because you're squeezing your glutes, which is, which is correct, but your hips are too far forward now. What you wanna do is release a little so that your head and neck are aligned and so your back is in neutral spine. You're gonna bring your feet out, pull your abs in, lift right on up. Now you're gonna put your heels together and you're gonna use that as a kickstand so that you know that if your heels come down, you're not gonna be allowed to because your heels are keeping you up. So good, so bring your heels in, pull your abs in, relax those shoulders, head and neck is aligned with your spine and we're gonna take it down, just lower a little bit and you're gonna hold here. Now remember to keep your heels up. The diamond is great for your quads and your glutes. It's really gonna lift and sculpt it. Now hold it here. If you're a little more advanced and you're not leaning on the chair, you're not gripping onto the chair, release the left arm out and slowly, if you can, start practicing. If you're leaning, that's okay. Just take it up nice and slow. Eventually you'll get there. Lift both arms up if you can. And if you're here, try pulsing. And eventually, you can do this without the bar or the chair. And that is how to master a diamond.